everyone, it's Pam here with Pattern Paper and Lace. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Uh, this is a Saturday morning and it's right chilly here in Georgia today. Uh, right now it's, uh, it's about 11 o'clock and it's 37 degrees, so pretty chilly for Georgia. Anyway, uh, I have a new journal to show you and it is called Found Relatives. It is made from a Tim Holtz um, two ring binder that had the rings in it. I took the rings out and the rings were fastened in with uh, some, you know, stud type things in these holes right here. So I punched the additional holes so that I could use this to make uh, a three signature little book and I love the size. I love how it turned out. Um, so I have some others of these that I, I purchased at Tuesday morning some time ago. And so uh, this is the second one I've made and the, the other one has already sold. Uh, and it turned out really cute too. It's more along the steampunk line. But this is um, Found Relatives. <clears throat> this is a Tim Holtz um, frame with a Tim Holtz image inside and the cover is uh, right at seven inches by right at five inches and it is a two two and a half inch spine <clears throat> has about 156 pages in it and I have made the closure with a measuring tape ribbon that came from Amazon, and then I have added on a bulb pin onto the closure here, uh, just an old key. So we'll go inside and see what we have. I, I bound it with, um, actually this is what I used to bind it with, which is a little bit heavier, coarse cotton uh, string, and I, I used that because, and I put these eyelets in, the holes were this hole was rather big that came, that the ring binding came out of, so I, I had to match that. And a thinner string just just didn't look right, so I chose to go with this little thicker string. And I, I liked how it turned out. I turned it, think it turned out really really nicely. Um, <clears throat> so we'll take a look inside. Also punched holes in my, and you can see. So you can see because th this makes a bigger knot when you knot it. So I also punched holes with my crocodile in the the signatures so that, that this thicker string could go through easily. And I, I really liked how it turned out. It turned out really cool. Um, so here I have made a pocket from a Tim Holtz die um, called Worn Edges or something. I think there's stamps too that, that follow along with that same theme. Um, but I love the window pane looking thing it does here. And this has tracing paper behind it or vellum. It may be vellum behind it um, to, so you won't be uh, tearing this in that. So that works out real well. And then I just have a little bit of scrapbooking paper here that I love the way those letters look. And the coloring was really nice with the background here. So I just added a little bit of that. I have this image, which is from a book about Teddy Roosevelt, and Puck was a magazine that was published back in that day, and I, I liked the uh, the cover of that, so I covered, used us paper on the back for journaling, and then I have a little journaling card here that's made with a purple index card with some stamping and collaging on the front here, tucked in there. Then each signature, there's three signatures, and each signature is begins with a Tim Holtz paper. I have added this little bit of uh, ephemera on here, just a little die cut. <clears throat> and then this is um, from a book. It says Molly was free. <laughs> and then I've used some Tim Holtz paper dolls. Coffee dye tracing paper. This is from a book called The Tight Wad Gazette 2. A little a faux stamp here with some rubber stamping and then children's book. 
here is a tuck spot that is the negative of a dragonfly die cut or a punch. And I used a coffee dye tracing paper behind that to, so you won't catch it when you put things in. Put a little vintage button and then these two little index cards with colors that match um, the book page. Music uh, note paper, stamping, and this is from a coloring book. This is that same die. This die that I used to make this pocket has three dies in it. This one, this one, and then a honeycomb looking die. So I just die, uh, die cut this um, on a piece of card and made it be a flip. And this is a Tim Holtz die cut on this page. I used the Seven Gypsies label from a packaging to make a little belly band with two little tickets inside. And then on this side, I have another pocket, and this is uh, collaged. The back of this background is, uh, so this, this, and this little piece, this little piece, and the background was already on the card, and it is from a, a jewelry box, a, a jewelry packaging box. Um, forgot now what the jewelry brand is called but my sister-in-law sent me the box because she thought that I would be able to use these images and I love it it is absolutely wonderful to use uh, and actually this piece too so this piece this little brown piece this little piece and the background are all a print from the box so I've added the clock the book page and this little bit right here to make this little collage and that's a journaling card tucked in there and this has a little bit of an uptuck with some tickets and a question mark that came from scrapbooking paper. So those are tucked right in there. <clears throat> some stamping here on this, and this is rather, this is sort of a heavier card. And then this is Tim Holtz uh, pieces in here, along with another um, little journaling card, index card that is collaged on with some collaging on this pocket. This is from a little um, journal that has these orange lines. I like the orange, orange colored lines on that. And then this is um, paper I bought from Amazon that is, looks like honeycomb. So I think that's kind of cool. Have a little collaging there and this is a little fold out scrapbooking paper here, some more scrapbooking paper. This is stationary paper. Each signature in the center has a pocket made from a vintage uh, atlas. And in here we have a photo and this is put on actual photo paper in one of those photo books that has the black paper. And what is interesting about this paper which most of them I don't think are this. But this was fibrous. It was like almost like a handmade paper. You can kind of sort of see the fibers in there and it feels so cool. I just really loved it. And it was kind of hard to tear because of the fibers. But this is a, a photo that is from a magazine. And so I cut it out. It has the little little photo corners was as part of the magazine. And so I, I cut it out and used my deckle scissors uh, to make it, to give it that the vintagey look. So it is a vintage photo, but it's a picture of a vintage photo from a from a magazine. That's tucked in here with a little bit of journaling card there. Some more Tim Holtz people, washi and stamping. This is washi tape. Uh, some B stamps here. The other side of that journal page. This is a little pocket with a vintage flashcard. A little um collaged tag. I believe my friend Dee from the paper drawer made this. Uh, and then a little bit of scrapbooking paper here for some color and for journaling. And then here we have a little side pocket that has a little tiny pocket with a little bit of scrapbooking paper. And then this is from some boxes that I bought and this was wrapped around the box, so I, I cut those all up and saved it. And then I have a, a postage stamp here with uh, some journaling cards in here. 
have for you to journal on. This is another picture from a book uh, here. I think this one may be on trains, but I'm not sure. Can't remember. Uh, coloring book page. Music paper. This is a little collage here with some tatting. Children's page. That's the other side of the tracing paper. So this is the end of the first signature. Have a little pocket here with a journaling card. And this this little tab, I'll have to glue that down right there. This little tab is from this the jewelry the jewelry box, the jewelry packaging box uh, that has some neat images on it. I'm gonna leave that sticking out a little bit so I can remember to glue that little bit back down. Again, uh, Tim Holtz paper. This is the Tight Wad Gazette 3. That's a cool book, the Tight Wad Gazette. It's how to um, how to live kind of off the grid using your resources and not spending as much money. Uh, this is a little digital tag here. This is from uh, a book on uh, coin collecting. And then we have this little tuck spot here. And this is from uh, embossing folder packaging. So I just tuck that in there. It's a coloring book. Stenciling here. Then here is another little side tuck with a little pocket. It has a postage stamp on it. This is a little card that says dream and another little, little uh, long tag from scrapbooking paper. Good way to use up scraps to do little long tags like that. Another page from the coin collecting book and another tag for journaling. And this side is a pocket collaged. Uh, this is a vintage, um, mm, you know, one of those. <laughs> Can't remember. <laughs> flashcard, vintage flashcard. And then I have made a little journaling card here, collaging uh, with various different things on there. Children's book, music paper. This is a stationery. Here is the center of this signature with a pocket from the vintage. Um, atlas and then I have another picture that is on this fibrous photo photo paper pages that are in an old photo book it's very cool um, and this picture is also from a magazine and tuck that in there and then we have a little scrappy pad here about uh, two four about six pages and tear off it's it's perforated so you can you can tear them off and then here I have a little journaling card and I just loved this little rooster it came from a book I don't remember what the book was about but I just love this little rooster and the colors looked so good with that that I thought it needed to go in here so we have that there with some collaging here and we have a stamping coloring book here's a, here's a pocket that I put in this journaling card that I made from a wallpaper border. The wallpaper border was just the leaf, the gray leaves, and this background. So all the stamping that's on here, the circles, the dragonflies, and this wheat, I did um, <clears throat> with just a stays on ink. And this is a, a vinyl coated. Uh, sort of vinyl feeling border, but I think it turned out so cute. I just loved it. I, I did several, and it it just uh, and I backed it with a with a card that you can journal on. So that's tucked right in there. And this is another little image from embossing folder packaging tucked right in there. Children's book page, and this is another image from. Um, the book on Teddy Roosevelt. So I liked that. Some more coffee dyed tissue. Here is just a little butterfly image with some scrapbooking letters from scrapbooking paper tucked in there. And then here I have made, I watched somebody, now I don't remember who it was, 
uh, that made, there's been a couple of people that made these little folio things from paper bags. So I decided to make one and this is how it turned out. I was very pleased with it. So you have a big pocket there and a little pocket there to put things in. And then this just closes up like this. And you're done. So it has a nice open space, did some collaging on that. I really, I liked how that turned out. It turned out really cute, I think. So we have that there, this folds out. The tight, wadded, the tight wad A to Z page, another little um, scrapbooking letters there on a Tim Holtz clip. This is a little envelope um, with our piano paper with a little card ticket inside. And I have that just tucked right in under that little gem clip. Just like this. More coloring book page. And this I thought was kind of funny. I thought this children's page, this somebody had had drawn this little snowman, but they drew him upside down. I'm not sure why, but I thought that was kind of fun to include. Uh, this is another image from, I think it's the book on Teddy Roosevelt. Um, scrapbooking paper in this little tuck here. And then this is another image from the book on Teddy Roosevelt. It had some very cool images in it. I didn't want to cover up the back of this, so I just left it like it is. Have some collaging here. A little tag there. This is a quote from Mae West. It says, you only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. And then some little, little tall tags in here. These are actually the off cuts. The from scrapbooking paper where they have that little white strip um, that has their advertising for what it is and I just thought that was cute and this it matched this so well all of this did so it's all there it says today's story and this is the center of this signature and it has a Tim Holtz image in it Tucked right in there pulled out punch, paper punch there. Here I have some uh, children's Monopoly money. So it's not the original Monopoly game, but it's for younger, younger children. Uh, and I have one of each currency in there and then a journaling card with that little butterfly on it. Children's book page. Another image from the Teddy Roosevelt book, coloring book page. And actually, it's more than a coloring book. It's kind of like a doodle book. It's very thick. It's lots of pages in it, and it's very cool. And that is the end. And we have a little pocket over here made with burlap and a little bit of lace with an envelope. Nothing inside the envelope, I don't think. Nope. And that just touched right in here. And then there is a journaling card here. So this is, again, mostly for journaling. Um, it's got a lot of blank spaces for journaling. But you also, again, and I, I showed this in the last video, but I will show you again. So this could be a, a glue book. It could be a collage book. It can be a collector collection book to collect all the paper things that you want to keep. I know we get packaging and we get things and you go, oh, that's so cute. I, I want a place to put it. I want to keep that. Where can I put it? Well, this can be used for that like I used this. I showed this in the last video that I made. Uh, and again, this is so much fun. If you've not done this, you need to do this because it is so much fun. Everybody... Um, has things that they come across. Even if you aren't a journaler, and I'm not really a write in a journal person, but I have gotten things that I, I wanted to keep. Uh, like, I love vintage cards, and this was, I had this from way, way back. Uh, this was sent to me in the mail. 
and so I just have I just have stuff I just have stuff that I want to keep in here and I love to go back and look so you know this is a scrapbooking thing that I went to one time that I used as a pocket and um, I, I was a Gone with the Wind memorabilia collector so that was my card when I was doing that so I just have all these things and this is a business card when I was a you know and this is a business card when I had my own business um, so you know it's just fun I, I like to, to do a little bit of drawing so I do a little bit of drawing in here when I feel like it um, so this is um, can be a glue book can be a collage book can be a writing book it can be a picture album book can be anything that you want it to be the ideas are endless as to what you can do you don't have to just write in a journal it can be just something you enjoy looking at like this it's just something i enjoy looking at um <clears throat> so this will be in my etsy shop i appreciate you watching i hope you've enjoyed it so come and visit my etsy shop at tattered paper and lace you will see several other things in there that might you might find enjoyable and would like to purchase. So I appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.